I've made a video before reminding you that the roots of the plant, especially long-term crop, will grow out uh, and enter the return. You see that here. So here is at the end of the harvest, we cut the top of the tomatoes and now we're cleaning them. And this one here is the one that, if it was any longer, would have gone inside or clogged the water flow. Okay? So, we had this on all the time, and now I'm thinking for tomato, uh, maybe that's not a good idea, because all of these roots look like they're mature and, and starting to rot. So maybe for tomato, it should be on an off and on cycle, so that these roots, when they are big, uh, they don't, um, uh, they, uh, they don't uh, swim or sit in water all the time. Okay, so initially, so remember this, when you have tomato seedlings, in a, uh, dwarf tomato seedlings in an NFT system, initially you can have it running for the first week or two, but when the plants look like they have a mature root system, then put it on a timer so that the roots, uh, the plants are not swimming in, in nutrient solution and they start rotting. So all this wilting that we saw earlier, I thought it was end of the season. I'm, now I'm convinced that it's just uh, they're slowly dying because the root system is uh, continuously uh, drowning in water. And by water I mean nutrient solution.